in this lecture let's understand what is a unique index so let's go to mongo shell and here let's first see what are the indexes available on the users collection so for that on the users collection we can use this get indexes method if i press enter currently we have two indexes the first index is created on the underscore id field and this is our default index and the second index we created manually and we created this index on age and gender field okay now we learned that when a default index gets created on this underscore id field that index is also unique that means this id field will store only unique values no two documents in the same collection will have the same id value and this is what unique index does when we create a unique index on a field that field can only store unique values no two documents will have the same value for that field now we can also create unique indexes on other fields than underscore id field for example let me go ahead and let me first query the users collection so for that i'm going to use find one method i just want to show you how the documents look like and these are the fields we have for each user and you will see that we also have this email field so each user also have this email field now what i want is i want to create a unique index on this email field so basically what i want that this email field should only contain a unique value no two users should have the same email value let's see how we can do that let me clear the shell here and here we want to create a new index on the users collection so for that we can call create index method on the users collection to this create index method first we specify on which field do we want to create the index here we want to create the index on the email field and let's say we want to create it in ascending order then we can also pass a second argument to this create index method where we can configure the index and there are several configuring options which we are going to talk about in our coming lectures and one of the options here is unique and this expects a boolean value true or false if we set it to true in that case it is going to create a unique index on this email field let me go ahead and let me press enter here so you can see that that index has been created now let's again go ahead and let's query this document the first document from the users collection and there from there let me copy this email address okay and now what i will do is i'll try to insert a new document so let me write the command here so let's see db dot users dot insert one here let's pass an object let me go ahead and let me copy these fields let's paste it here okay if you want you can change some values for example i'll change the age to 62 let's say name is alice williams one and other things i'll keep the gender as female maybe let's change the city to delhi okay but i'm keeping the email as same email what we have here for the first document now i'm going to try to insert this document so let me go ahead and let me paste this command here and if i try to insert this document you will see that we have an error and it says duplicate key error so basically the error has happened on this email field because we are trying to insert an email value which already exists for some other document and since on this email we have created a unique index it will not allow duplicate values here okay so this is the use of unique index this is how we can create a unique index just now we learned that we can specify a second argument for the create index method where we specify unique to true and it creates a unique index on the given field and when a unique index is created on that field in that case two documents in the same collection cannot have same value for that unique field 